Saints of God, I am so angry right now. I decided to just come on here right now and make this quick video. Something extremely shocking just happened to me. Extremely shocking, like not even an hour ago. Okay, so most of you all that have been following my channel know that I went to hell for masturbation a while ago. I was tortured by Satan himself. It was one of the most horrific, if not the most horrific experience I've ever had in my entire life. So anyway, when I was in the world, there was a, and I'm trying to be calm. I'm trying to calm down because I'm so angry. I want to scream. So anyway, when I was in the world, there was a masturbation vibrator that I really wanted. But the thing was like a hundred and some bucks and it was too expensive. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to pay all that for that. So anyway, I never in my life ever told anybody that I wanted that thing. Never mentioned it to my exes. Never in life. Never, you know, because, you know, I just never did. So anyway, today, this thing was delivered free of charge right to my front door. The exact vibrator that I wanted when I was in the world. Now, of course, I quit masturbation after my trip to hell. Of course, I learned that that was a really grave sin. And I stopped doing that nonsense. This thing was delivered straight to my door, not even an hour ago, free of charge, right to my front door. I mean, I was in complete, utter shock. But it just goes to show you, Satan is delivering gifts. He's delivering toys now. He is doing everything he can to make sure that we go to hell. Okay, and I'm trying to calm down. But I'm so angry right now. I just want to scream I want to hurry up and make this video to tell you all that we are at war. Okay. We are at war and you need to wake up and realize that because a devil is not playing with us. He is doing everything we, he can. And I am, I do God praise glory to God. He does use me to operate in the power of an evangelist. And I talk to a ton of people that I minister to on a daily basis that are going through the worst struggles of their lives. Okay. So the devil was unable to get to me in other ways that he tried to. So he decided to send me an expensive toy. What a jerk. Okay. He's going to burn in the eternal hell. And I just want to make sure that I remind him of that in the name of Jesus. Okay. And I want to tell you all something because this is very important. Uh, many saints that have told me this and even myself have dealt with this, but I got over it. Glory to God is a lot of thoughts been coming in our head trying to make us think that we are responsible for these bad thoughts that have been coming in our head. And I want to tell you how I got deliverance. I kid you not. God told me clear as day that I was actually told by what seemed like either it was the Holy spirit or angels is what it seemed like. And it told, and the, the voice told me that God knows that those thoughts are not for me. They are not for me. And that was just so freeing for me because I was having all these bad thoughts that was coming in my head. And God was like, okay, I know that you're not doing that. And I was constantly rebuking them all the time. And it was just torment, torment. And so the Lord taught me through scripture to say what he said to Peter when Peter had uh, Satan in him. He said, I rebuke thee, Satan, for thou art an offense unto me. For thou savorest not the things that be of God, but the things that be of man. So continue to rebuke the devil and know that the thoughts are not coming from you. I'm telling you, saints, we are at war. I'm telling you, listen to the, listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Because we are being tested beyond the measures that we could ever imagine at this time in life right now. And praise God. I feel like I'm doing really good. Glory to God. Glory to God. No glory to me. So the devil decided to send me a, a, a gift. He, he's trying his best. He wants to see us burn in hell. He wants us tainted so we don't make it to the rapture. He is trying to mess us up and destroy us. I have another video that I'm, I'm actually making right now, but I'm doing all my theatrics and stuff. So it's taking me a minute. So that's why I want to come on here right now and make this video real quick. And I'm going to reveal another tactic that the Satan, that Satan is doing that is going to blow your minds once you hear this. Okay, because he's a dirty, low down devil. He's not playing with us and he's doing everything he can to destroy the saints of God. And I also had a dream that I don't, I haven't posted and I don't intend to post it at this time. But I just want to say it right now. In the dream that I had, and it was a long dream, well, I just try to hurry up and give it right now. Anyway, I was back in Chicago, which is my hometown. And I was visiting my family, but I was there for training. I was going there for training. 
And and I don't have a job. <laughs> so anyway, it wasn't for my job. It was for training like 144,000 training. So anyway, and it was like in Chicago, but Chicago didn't look like Chicago. It was called Chicago, but it didn't look like Chicago. It was like, it was totally changed. And I haven't been in Chicago in many years, so maybe it does look totally changed like this. But it was like, you know, the street lights was fixed up and it was modern uh, things about it. No, I've been in Chicago maybe two or three years ago. I don't know. But anyway, um, even some of the ways, the streets and how to get where I needed to go was had changed. They had closed some of the streets off, so you had to go around a certain area. And I just want to get to the gist of the dream. It was a lone dream. But in this dream, as I was interacting with people, it was, it was people treating me very rude. They was being nasty to me. They was trying to provoke me to anger. And I knew in the dream that I was being tested. The test was going on by how we treated people. Okay. How we treated people right now in the world. And so towards the end of the dream, I finally got to the training facility and it was this angel that was training me and everything and asked me all these questions. And I guess this is why I didn't post the dream because that was back when I was struggling with my faith. And it was kind of an embarrassing dream because the angel told me that it, he, he said, it normally doesn't take this long. And it was because I was really struggling at that time with my faith. So, um, it was like God warning me of that, but I'm telling you all that because we was being tested even in our life right now. So I'm telling you saints, a lot of things are going on. God is looking at the way that we're treating one another. He is looking at that. And I can tell you right now, there's been quite a few saints. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> that have made me mad. And I wanted to tell you all off, like, what is your problem? But you know what? The devil is a liar because I saw that clear as day. God is looking at how we treat one another and how we react to one another. And some of the scenarios that we going through with the saints of God is a test. It is a test. Okay. And then you have Satan who's giving out demonic gifts at this time. So yeah, watch out. We are at war. We are at war, war, war. I cannot say it enough. Ephesians 6, put on your battle garments because playtime is over. It is over. Stop weeping and moaning and complaining and worship the Lord thy God. Bow before the living God, Jehovah. I'm telling you, we are at war, saints. War, war. And then at a time like this, today is... Fresh, fresh fruits day today is this evening starts. Okay. Right now for me, it's about, it's going on six o'clock and fresh fruit starts tonight. So, and then we also know that the, the coming of the Lord is at hand and the devil is trying his best to taint me at this time. Okay. The devil is a liar. He is a liar. The Lord is my strength. Keep quoting scripture, keep quoting scripture against the enemy. Okay. Saints of God. I pray that this message encourages you and gives you strength. I pray that you know what time we're living in right now, because if you don't, you're being foolish. Okay. And I'm not calling you a fool, but let's not be foolish. Okay. God bless everyone. I love you so much. Okay. Bye.